Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here. Welcome back and today we're going to be taking a look at something really awesome and that is this advanced item armory and retrieval system. Now you may be wondering how on earth does that work and what does that even mean? Well, here's the thing, you select an item and then you select the quantity, you hit the button and it will all be sent to your chest. It uses a bunch of really cool mechanics and some of the new features added in the latest snapshots is pretty cool so let's take a closer look. Now before we begin, I just want to mention, I have no idea why my item frames seem to be on fire. It seems to be a bug in one of the recent snapshots, and it looks like the item frames are smoking, which is not a good thing. But anyway, we are going to ignore that, because this is our item selection system. And as I'm sure you can imagine, it uses the switch that Generic B recently showcased in one of his videos. Basically, the way that this arrow is pointing is the item that is selected. If we flick on, then we will be receiving coal in the chest. If we flick it again, then we will be receiving glowstone. Now, if we head over here, we can select the quantity of the item. So... For safety's sake, we are going to be using 8, so if we hit this button here, it shouldn't take too long, and 8 items will flow into this chest. They should coming up around about now, so here we go. They're going in, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So there we go, that is all of our items, we can pick those up and walk off. Obviously, I have built this so that all possible combinations of items and quantities works, and what I mean by that is you can have 64 diamonds, you can have 8 pieces of gold, you can have 32 diamonds, whatever you want, you can get. So it is quite good, and it works very nicely, but anyway, I know what you're all waiting for, let's take a look at the redstone behind it. Once again, I do just want to apologise for the fact that I am not running Camera Studio Mod. Unfortunately, we are playing in the snapshot and that means that it has not been released yet, so we are going to have to do some ghetto cinematics here, getting around looking at all the angles of the build. Now, what I thought I would do is do a very quick explanation of some of the components involved. So, this green circuit that you can see here is our switching circuit, and this is what detects what item we want to be placing in. So, as you can see, as we turn this arrow round, the lights come on on the repeaters over there, which means that we have changed the output, and that is what selects the item. These four modules that you can see right in front of you are known as pulse multipliers. Now, I did recently feature this in a video called Storage Solutions. It was a quick and easy one. I will put a link to that in the description. But very quickly, the number of items inside the hoppers dictates how many items you are going to get outputted. So all of these are linked up to the buttons. If you hit one of them, then this will turn on. It will give you eight items or eight pulses that will then run along this line and into these droppers. Your items will then go up into those hoppers and off into our chest here. Works very nicely and it all goes well. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on this specific build, quite simply because it is very big and very clunky, and I imagine that 99.9% .9 of you would much rather use a chest. However, I will include a world download in the description that you can check out for yourselves, take a look at all of the redstone behind it, and see some of the cool features that are involved. But anyway, that is all I've got time for this week, folks, so if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button, and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.